now we are going to start with the another important topic which is not in not one of the core functional areas but pretty important to understand this is called project selection or why a project has to be selected any organization will have a different ideas or different project aspects or different project proposals so what are the parameters or what are the tools and techniques available to finalize a project depending upon any organization's goal and objective that it has in terms of its business it will take a decision to select to select or identify a project that it wants to pursue so project selection mostly any project is analyzed before selection on the basis of its cost cost analysis could be of two dimension or two it could have two dimension project by project and period by period in project by project dimension of cost analysis one project spans across multiple accounting periods typical of long going projects whereas period by period dimension is where one period contains multiple projects for example when a company declares its quarterly result it declares the quarterly result considering the result or the outcome of all the projects that were run during a particular quarter so that is the period by period dimensional cost analysis best analysis as i was explaining so t is technological or purely marketing type of analysis before selecting a project mm -hmm. so to change a, to change a political perception of an organization political perception analysis is done financial to make money to make business or to benefit for you know revenue for generating a revenue public perception or social or different csr activity large companies usually like microsoft has its charitable branch for example recently facebook founder also gave away 99% of the shares of facebook to charity so that's a that that mm -hmm. is a project that has that was created with public perception analysis mm -hmm. to change the perception public perception of a company marketing for technology to give rise to new technological advance advancement in the industry new discoveries or new invention mm -hmm. that the company as a market leader mm -hmm. so these were non tangible analysis methods where intangible aspects of projects are considered but if tangible mm -hmm. aspects of a project are to be considered there are different mm -hmm. selection techniques there are different project selection and prioritizing techniques okay. one is formal and another is informal in informal basically people talk people decide people brainstorm over ideas they mm -hmm. help of subject matter experts or industry experts mm -hmm. informal it is more of analyzing quantifying the benefits by different mm -hmm. mathematical models benefit measurement cost benefit analysis how much benefit will be derived out of a project by which will have a certain cost any project has mm -hmm. a cost which is incurred while executing the project and ultimately it gives some benefit so the cost benefit analysis if the cost benefit ratio is more the project stands a chance for selection if it is not if, if the ratio is less than 1 it means the cost of the project is more than the benefit the project is going to make constraint optimization methods are complex mathematical models which are basically uh, you know like simulation methods and are like done by the computers by these are like some algorithm mm -hmm. which have different param which have multiple parameters multiple varying parameters so that the mathematical approach some programming so there is i mean this will not get any more detailed than this in cnt just the list of different constraint optimization methods Okay. Benefit measurement, cash flow, like how much is the cash flow of the project? 
it could be cash flow in or cash flow out of a project expected discounted cash flow expected value future value present value benefit cost ratio we just saw net present value is a simple i mean is again a formula based measurement method payback period payback period is the the out of the we have different benefit measurement method all of them have to be higher so out of two projects if you have a higher for you know for uh, whichever has a higher value for any of these will be selected except for pvp pvp is payback period so payback period is the time by which any project meets its cost the benefit equals its cost so the earliest any project has its benefit equal to its cost that project gets selected the break even period as soon as the project you know breaks even or as soon as it gets the cost that was invested in by its benefit it is called the pay so that period is called the payback period so the lesser the payback period of a project the higher the chances of it is getting selected okay except for pvp all other values higher the better cash flow is nothing but the summation of summation of all the cash flows cash flow out would be a negative value cash flow in is a positive value so adding is basically subtracting subtracting cash flow out from cash flow in so whichever has a higher value i mean out of two project whichever has a higher cash flow value will be selected discounted cash flows to predict see, since any in any project we cannot predict the future we cannot predict what will be the dollar value after 5 years so, so so some you know so there is some relaxation so there is some discount is given to the value of the project that's why this discount is cash cash value cash flow so which is the method method measure all expected future cash inflows and outflows of project as if they occurred at a single point in time so as to remove any consideration in the considerations of variance anything which could vary is taken out of consideration to have a uniformity as they have mentioned the key feature of dcf method is the time value of money mm-hmm. that's why dcf method uses rrr required rate of return which is nothing but the minimum acceptable annual return of a investment roi mm-hmm. return on investment roi mm-hmm. Uh, any project has to have minimum rrr before it could be selected to filter out different potential projects that a company could take up minimum mm-hmm. rrr rrr uh, a, a value of rrr is established so that even if the company is not making any benefit if the project is taken up and executed it should not at least run into any loss that's why rrr again dcs values for project will be the summation of different for individual projects or in individual component of the project mm-hmm. it's calculated by this formula given so this formula has to be learned by heart but there are there have been very few questions on this formula in the pmp exam expected value or cvm expected value management we will see that earned value management x or earned mm-hmm. monetary value emv and evm so expected value is equal to outcome or consequence of the event into probability impact into probability mm-hmm. what is the probability that a project is going to deliver its goal and if it does what is the impact so outcome or consequence of the event into 
probability divided by 100. So as soon as we divide by 100, we get a percentage value. Simple interest or teacher value formula. Simple interest to determine how much, within how much time or at what rate a project should start giving benefit. Any of the parameters or any of the variables in the formula could be known or could not be known based on which a decision will be taken. Or project constraints would be established. For example, if a project wants to have you know a certain benefit by certain amount of time then by at what rate it should give its output so that R will be found out from the value from the formula. Compound interest nothing but earning interest on the interest. Present value is equal to future values again same as interest formula. NPV calculation over a long period of time. So for us it, it, it shows you six calculation over six years for a particular project. Okay. Again, to reiterate, any of these values or any of these formulas have to have a more value in order for the project to be considered for selection. Except the third one is what sum of the just just go into the previous one. Third one. Third one. Sum of different sum of the values over a period of time. I internal rate of return. Internal rate IRR method calculate the discount rate. Discount rate is also known as uh, RRR. Wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, so here if you see the third line it says RR is also called the discount rate. Hurdle rate, cost of capital or opportunity cost of capital. So IRR method calculates the RRRR at which the present value of expected cash inflows from a project equals to the present value of our expected cash flow. As we saw, the the money value, the value of money will change over a period of time. So, what would be the yes. minimum rate of return at which the present value of expected cash inflow from a project will equal to the present value of its expected cash outflows. Okay. That is internal rate of return. A calculation showing NPV or IRR calculation over 4 years. Mm -hmm. This is equal to 0. Right. What is the manifest of the general problem? The point is that to the equation, the daily variable has to be used to estimate our conversion to the general system. Please go down a little bit. There is nothing else. The NPV net present value has to be zero because only then, you know, the present in present out uh, inflow cash inflow will equal to mm -hmm. future outflow or there may be both in present or in future a project will have certain mm -hmm. inflow for example today a project has certain inflow as well as outflow after five years mm -hmm. also this project will have certain inflow and outflow now to establish a symmetry between it so that there is a benefit because we do not know what would be the 
value of that cash after 5 years we will find IRR so the net present value has to be 0 it will take it to 0 payback method payback method is the time period by which a project breaks even so faster the payback period the better for the project for selection so if two, there are two projects both one has higher PBP, uh, lower PBP but higher say cash uh, cash flow after 5 years which one will be mm. accepted although the profit from a project is okay. more the, the project with lowest PBP is selected mm. you will see one table which will make it clear yeah payback period 18 months even with higher net present value will be selected okay for, yeah, so in payback except for payback period all other methods have a wherever higher value is there the project is selected except for PBP mm -hmm. Okay. 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 It's an audit done to see whether the cost incurred by the project was justified or not, was it mm -hmm. used in a proper manner and whether the expected mm -hmm. benefit was derived. Basically an audit mm -hmm. to see the justified or rational use of the cost. Okay. Constant optimization method for mathematical model used for evaluating the cost of or the perceived cost of a project. Some formulas which are not which are out of scope of CMP. It will be sufficient to know that they are of five types: linear, non-linear, dynamic, integer, and multiple object programming.